My Steam Deck OLED setup is complete and perfect. Why do I say that? Well, because I have a lot of storage. I have kickstand. I have uh, three ports for available for um, for Steam Deck OLED. Let me show you. First of all, I have a kick a kickstand here. Um, this is a, a very slim kickstand, as you know it from my previous uh, videos. I got it from um, AliExpress. Just search over there for slim kickstand and you can find this one. In my opinion, it's the best kickstand that you can get at this point because it's extra slim. It doesn't bother you here and um, uh, it works excellent. It's easy to open. It holds basically the Steam Deck like this and um, I like it. It's my favorite. As you know, in the same time, I have this system here um, also from uh, AliExpress. Just search for wall sticker, um, adhesive tape, something uh, like, like that, and they will appear. Um, they come in pairs and um, you have also this one. Basically, very sim simple. You can uh, you can put your accessories like this. This is how it looks and um, you can switch them very very easy so here it is when I want to switch basically my um, my SSD with another one I just take it and put it here it stays really nice it looks really nice so um, a lot of advantages the next one how I use my uh, SSD uh, with Steam Deck. I'm using um, uh, this type of um, SSD enclosure. Uh, it's made by Asus. It's called Asus ROG Strix Arion. And in my opinion, these are the best uh, accessories for your um, SSD if you want to create something very fast and to use it with uh, any device. So um, you just uh, you just uh, plug your um, your cable. You can use it with your um, with your computer and so on. Um, why do I like them? They are extremely fast and they have a great um, uh, system to, uh, uh, to to dissipate the heat to a great cooling system. Um, let me let me show you um, the inside for example um, of this one you can eject it like this and here it is it has this huge this huge area covered already with uh, uh, heat dissipation tape um, you don't have to buy it. It's a very good one. And uh, being made from aluminum, I believe, uh, anyway, it's not plastic. Uh, they dissipate the heat very well. And in this way, your SSD will always work excellent. I'm using inside of this one a Kingston 4 terabyte uh, SSD 2280 format. Um, this is how you close it. Just put it here. And that's it. It's closed. Um, for me, it's the uh, the excellent system to have a lot of storage and extra extra storage and very fast storage available for Steam Deck OLED at this point. So um, let me move these two. I'm using um, um, a few days ago. I said I'm waiting. I was waiting for these cables. I just got them. I have uh, this um, this cable also from AliExpress. Um, it has USB Type C here and USB Type A at this point. It's rated uh, 10 gigabytes, also with power delivery, so it can charge and transfer uh, data in the same time. Um, and uh, I have, for example, uh, probably already know from my previous videos, I have some other cables also. This one, it's uh, 40 gigabytes, rated 240 watts. Um, this one, 10 gigabytes. And I have also this one, I believe, also 10 gigabytes. 
um, so you have a lot of, op of possibilities it's up to you what cables you want to use anyway I just got these two because they are um, really useful I don't have to use an adapter li like this for um, for my cable so I will use instead um, one of these and the main piece here it is Subrent Steam Deck Hub. It's very small and very powerful. It has a um, USB Type-C connector here. It has a dedicated format only for Steam Deck. So make sure that you don't get the white version because that one, it's, it's created for uh, Asus ROG Ally device. They won't work um, on uh, Steam Deck and this one won't fit on Asus ROG Ally. So get this one, it's made especially for Steam Deck. Um, here we have three ports. We have an USB Type-C in the middle. It has power delivery capabilities. Basically here you charge your device while you use an external SSD. It has, it's rated up to 100 watts and 5 gigabytes for speeds. We have two USB Type A um, uh, uh, ports here. They are USB. Uh, they say 3.2 here. It says 3.0. Um, anyway, you have. It's an USB Type 3. Uh, USB 3.0 uh, uh, starting with it anyway. Um, so basically, you have huge speeds also here. Um, in this way, uh, I have three ports available for Steam Deck 2. Uh, they would be enough to also, maybe they will create something smaller like this. It would be great. Um, anyway, what, uh, why do I like it? Because it, uh, before that, here it is. I have a small adhe double uh, adhesive tape here. In this way, it will stay very, very... Uh, uh, firmly on on the steam deck anyway without this one when you push the cable uh, basically you will feel it like this it's moving a bit not it's not bad it doesn't have uh, it, it won't happen anything but i prefer to stay very uh, very fixed here so in this way you just uh, insert it uh, like this and at this point i have that adhesive tape look It's, it's a very small device and it will give us access to three ports. At this point, I'm using, as I said, this um, new cable. Let's see, this one. I'm putting the, I put, I'm putting the SSD here. And uh, basically, this is, uh, this is what I do now. So, um, let's see. Here it is. And at this point, I have this setup. I can use very, very easy and um, uh, a charging cable. And um, because I decided to put the SSD on the center to have space for the kickstand and to compensate uh, the weight. Um, if you put it here, maybe you will feel it too heavy on this side and so on. But um, there is enough space to, to insert the cable right here look or you oh, sorry or you can just take the ssd out put the cable and this one here and at this point as um, the uh, the steam deck has four terabytes external storage connected it has also the charger connected and i have an extra port also available here so let me show you what happens here when I uh, when I start the Steam Deck. Here it is. If we go to storage, we have the four terabyte SSD connected here, and um, this is this is how i activate uh, basically the kickstand with this finger look here it is we have um, we 
have this setup. This is how it looks. It's not heavy, it doesn't incommodate you, it's perfect, you can switch very fast, you can swap very fast the storage um, accessories from here. So um, what can I say, for me it's perfect. I hope the Steam Deck um, OLED 2 will have uh, multiple ports on the, upper, uh, on the upper side here, on the bottom here, and I would like to see also on the back here. Uh, instead of, uh, if I would be Valve, I would create something with um, this part here, uh, like this one, uh, a little bit prominent here on the back. I, I would start from here and I would make the entire part here like this. I would put a lot of ports here and also the possibility to use a 2280 SSD here and also a bigger battery because this one, it will take you uh, some extra watts, it depends, it, it can go um, as far as I saw uh, below one if it if it's something very easy reading from it up to three, four watts extra with, uh, with this one. Um, anyway, um, I saw the, um, the values are very good, don't go for SSDs that have huge performance, uh, those one, they will take extra watts, take a normal 2280 SSD, um, a good uh, brand, and that's it, if you go for pro uh, uh, models for uh, 2280 SSDs, uh, you will get uh, higher values for uh, watts. Um, this is it uh, for me it's the perfect uh, perfect store uh, setup and um, at this point as you see here i have four terabytes here one terabyte micro sd card and two terabytes internal ssd because as you know i'm using uh, a seagate uh, 2230 for my uh, steam deck oled in this way i have seven uh, terabytes for um for my Steam Deck on the go. Look, I, I have at this point seven terabytes, 7,000 gigabytes. That's huge, huge, a lot of games, but also the games are huge. Look, God of War, Ragnarok, almost 177 gigabytes. That's huge. If you put this one on a 512 SSD, um, like uh, the normal Steam Deck OLED has uh, when you get it, it's basically at that point with the system, you you take half of the storage. Um, you put another one like this and it's full. Two or three games on your Steam Deck. That's not good. That's why I have two terabyte um, SSD as internal storage, one terabyte micro SD card and four terabyte uh, external storage. Plus these two, also four terabytes in total basically um, uh, i have 11 terabytes available for um uh, for steam deck oled and i have a lot of games that's why so thanks for uh, watching please like share subscribe it helps a lot uh, write a comment if you like my videos and if you want to see more videos here it really really helps uh, to have comments and shares or uh, likes um, and I uh, thanks and I uh, want to thank you for uh, for your support and uh, for uh, for being here so thank you